their tag video. Today's tag video is the Jennifer Lawrence book tag. Um, the person who created the tag is Michael Booklion, and I actually saw Raylene over at Petfoot and Prongs do this, so I thought it'd be a fun tag because who doesn't love Jennifer Lawrence? I mean, she's pretty much amazing, and I have met a single person yet that hasn't loved her. So anyway, let's begin on to the tag. My well, first question is, growing up in Kentucky, your favorite book set in a rural area? Well, all I could think of right now is Everything I Never Told You by Celeste and G, because that kind of takes place in like a rural area. So I'm going to say that one. I know I'm saying that wrong, but whatever. Apologize. Two is discovering Discovery on the Streets of NY, a little known book you found while browsing and ended up loving. The Running Dream by Wendelin Randrew. I always say this book and everyone should read it because it's just so it's not well known and it's such an amazing book. It gives you such courage and such hope and such hope it makes you really want to aspire to do things. So it's definitely amazing. So check that back. Question number three is swearing off social media. A book you refuse to read. There's no book I really refuse to read. I think there's been you know, books of series I have read, and I'm like, oh, I won't finish that series. Um, ones I can think of is like the Immortal series by Austin Noel. I've read the first three books or first four, and I refuse to read any more because I just don't like them. Another one is the Beautiful Creatures series of the Castro Chronicles. I read book one, didn't really love it, so I don't really want to read the rest of the book. So that's the only ones I really can think of that I won't ever read. Other than that, I will try to give every book a fair shot. Well, I don't know. There's always like that Fifty Shades of Grey I probably won't ever read. I don't know. Question number four. Beginnings on TV into film. A series that gets better with each installment. Um, Harry Potter. Harry Potter truly gets better with each installment. Also, The Darkest Minds trilogy. And I've still not finished that trilogy, but it gets better with each of them. And I'm still finished with the third one. But I bet it's amazing. So I feel safe answering that. Question number five is The Oscar Trip. A book slash series that hit a snag. And this is just my personal opinion. These two I picked out. Um, for the first one, I picked The Selection by Kiara Cast. I really liked the first one and then it kind of hit a snag for me. I didn't really love it so much. I really didn't like the main character throughout the series. So I'm going to say that one. And honestly, for being honest, I'm going to say The Fifth Wave series. I love the first book. You guys know how much I love The Fifth Wave of Rick Yancey, but when the sequel came out, I didn't really love it. I felt like it was subpar. It was very short. I didn't really feel like a lot happened, and I just wasn't in love with it. So I'm really hoping the third one will rise back up, and so hopefully I can take that off this. But for right now, it's hit a huge snag for me. A bump in the road, if you will. Number six is J. Law and Chris Martin. Favorite book by collaboration of authors. Again, I'm going to pick two. I'm going to pick My, Lu My True Love Gave to Me, which I've reviewed. You can click right here. It's just a collection of holiday stories by 12 authors. Also, Let It Snow. That's by John Green. Who else is I always forget who, else, who that's by, but those are my two favorite ones. Question number seven, work with David O. Russell, dysfunctional character you can't help but love. For that one, I'm going to say Warner from Shatter Me. If you've read the trilogy, you will know what. Question number eight is Mystique, a villain who thinks what they're doing is right. And this one is kind of a tricky one, so I picked... I just picked the Maze Runner trilogy because if you haven't read it, you wouldn't understand this answer, but if you did, you will know. The people that are involved in the series constantly think they're doing what's right, and they keep learning that it's really the wrong thing. And so it doesn't make them villains per se, but it means that their mind keeps getting warped, I'd say. So I think that fits in this answer, but I thought it would be an interesting answer. Let me know if you agree. <laughs> Number nine, The Hunger Games, favorite high-profile series. The Hunger Games and Harry Potter. Those are my two favorites. And the last question is everything she's ever said. Favorite comedic slash snarky character? Fred and George Weasley because they're seriously comedic. They're amazing. That was the Jennifer Lawrence book tag. Um, feel free to do the tag. And that's all for me and I will see you guys later. Before you go, please check out all the links I have. It'd be awesome. I have links to book blogs and all that kind of stuff. So definitely check those links out before you leave.